Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Boundary. Today's reading is a daily reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you to help you through your day and on your soul's journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers and viewers and collective of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. So let's see what messages we get for you today, Pisces. All right, the energy, a little calm energy. All right, Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces? The first message we have is the Three of Pentacles. This is a card of collaboration, partnership, working together, bringing your skills to a project. Um, I'm hearing the word contributing as well. What other messages do you have for Pisces? So you may be actually leaving a situation where you're no longer contributing, or you may be walking away from a team, a project, or a job, moving on from a partnership, a union, or a collaboration. The Eight of Cups is you know going away in darkness with the moon so we see a sense of melancholy about something that has been unfulfilled that you're walking away from moving on from but you're walking towards your nine of cups so there's a silver lining there what other messages for pisces please the next message is the four of wands so some of you are moving to a new house but the eight of cups with the four of wands is showing that you're moving on and you're headed in the right direction so wherever you're going however you're choosing to walk your path the four of wands is an indicator 11 11 that you are on the right path that you're headed in a direction i'm also hearing there for some of you you know you're going to have something to celebrate the four of wands is a card of celebration you can see the two back there in the in the background here celebrating they're celebrating a marriage in this particular case so some of you might have recently gotten married or may be going to be getting married may be engaged but that's only going to be for some of you um, but here we're definitely seeing four of wands a celebration on the right path let's get some more messages what other messages do you have for pisces please the next message we have is the seven of pentacles i think you've really thought this through you've really you know even labored over what options were right for you what are the messages for pisces what other messages for pisces so you're coming to a decision a completion the time of waiting the time of introspection the time of planting seeds is now coming to an end it's it's coming to a place where you're going to have fulfillment you're going to have satisfaction that's what the world card is symbolizing what other messages okay and then we have one more message for you today pisces and we have the king of swords the king of swords is masculine air energy libra gemini and aquarius this is about your discernment it could also be somebody who's in your energy that something's coming to completion with them on so let's go ahead and dive into this message and see what's going on. What is this three of pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this three of pentacles? And we have the two of wands. So we're seeing a decision that you're making. You're, you're holding the world in your hands and the world is before you at your feet. And we see you're really making a decision to go in a new direction maybe even some type of journey or exploration. Let's see what this Two of Wands is. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this Two of Wands? What is this Two of Wands for Pisces? For the Two of Wands, we are having the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, you could be making this decision to move on because you have some type of stress or insecurity around your, your career, your finances. The Knight of Pentacles is also very slow moving energy. So you could be worried that things aren't going to fall into place as well. But wherever you give your energy, if you give your energy to worry, you'll manifest the things that you're worried about. So please be mindful of that. What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? 
What is this Eight of Cups? So I'm also needing to say you could have some stress and anxiety around making decisions regarding your work, a collaboration, or a partnership. Here for the Eight of Wands, we are seeing the Nine of Wands. So you're moving on from a situation because you're just tired. You you don't really have, you you have the energy, but you're feeling drained. You're feeling as though you're running out of energy to deal with this emotional situation or unfulfilling situation. Let's see what this Nine of Wands is. What is this Nine of Wands? It's like you just don't have it in you anymore to sit there and work on partnerships or collaborations or projects that aren't coming to fruition. So we all, we see the Nine of Wands clarified by the hangman. So you're letting go. You're coming, you're making a decision here to come out of an uncomfortable position and you're letting go and moving forward. The Nine of Wands also indicates the end of a cycle. What is this for? Coming to the end of a cycle, you're almost at the Ten of Wands where you're going to put the burden down. I'm going to get a sip of coffee real quick for those of you who are enjoying your morning coffee with me. Thank you so much. Ooh, that's so nice and comforting. What is this Four of Wands for Pisces, please? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces, please, Spirit? And for the Four of Wands, we're getting the Hermit. I feel one more card needs to come out and the Ten of Cups. So you're wiser. You know, you've really been down some bumpy roads that we're seeing here, the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Swords. You know, and, and you've really given your all, working with people, contributing, putting your best foot forward. But we see here now that you're taking the energy of the Hermit Virgo energy and using the experiences. Some of you might also go into introspection I was picking up the introspection with the Seven of Pentacles as well. Introspection or isolation for a little while in order to focus on the things that make you the happiest. So I'm, I'm, I am picking up that focusing on the things that give you joy is going to be additive to you. It's really going to help you. We have the Eight of Cups, then we have the Ten of Cups. So we're seeing that you're going from the Eight of Cups to emotional contentment and fulfillment here we're getting the three of pentacles for the hermit so you're definitely learning you had learned something through a process or a situation that you went through what is this ten of cups for the ten of cups we're getting the page of wands so now you're embarking on a different journey the page of wands could also be a message um, of good news coming through which makes sense that we have the page of wands with the ten of cups because we have I'm, I'm hearing the because of your wisdom that you have through the hermit, because you've worked through many different things, you're going to have good news come through that's going to make you quite happy. What is the Seven of Pentacles, please? For the Seven of Pentacles, we see you've really thought over the times of your life where you've been in lack, where you've not had opportunity, and now you're going forward to make sure that the pentacle you choose is the right one that you're going to focus on because in the past you may have focused on things that came up empty for you. What is this page of pentacles? The pages of pentacles is also a message regarding a durable offer or material offer. What is this page of pentacles? It's also about learning a lesson, um, being an apprentice. Um, whereas the, the hermit is a mentor the Page of Pentacles is a mentee. So here we are getting the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So this is about really being wise and using your wisdom to choose out of the options what is going to be the most appropriate and the happiest choice for you. We have the energy of making a choice here with the Two of Wands and you making a choice to move forward with what's going to make you happy looking at the different options and choosing one that's going to put you in a place of positivity. What is this Five of Pentacles, please? Pardon me, please. And for the Five of Pentacles, we're getting the Three of Wands. So you're moving forward out of any type of lack. You're looking to the new horizon and you're making a plan for yourself. Okay, so, you know, I'm seeing here, this is clarifying the Five of Pentacles 
with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords and the Devil. So I'm seeing that there is an energy around you. I, I, I hate to say this, Pisces, because I don't like to have any type of negativity, but I have to tell you, there is an energy around you who does not want to see you succeed. There is an energy around you who wants you to be dependent upon them, dependent upon the resources. But we see you looking forward and you're looking at your options and you're bringing that to a close. The Seven of Swords with the Devil card is a very narcissistic, unhealthy, um, it's cards of betrayal, underhandedness. But we're going to move on from that and look at this world because we see you focusing on something very positive. But there's this energy around you that as you're going forward, following your soul's journey, your destined path, your happy path, we, we do see this energy coming up against you. What is this world for Pisces? And we have the Eight of Wands, which makes sense. So you're closing out that cycle with whoever or whatever this hard energy is. You're closing it out and you're energetically releasing yourself and moving forward. What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces, please? What is this Eight of Wands for Pisces? And we're getting the Two of Pentacles. So you're making a decision, again, two decisions, Pentacles regarding your material world. I'm also seeing that some of you are going to be having some type of increase or financial change. Let's actually get one more card for this Two of Pentacles. What is this Two of Pentacles for Pisces, please? or making a decision regarding your finances or money. What is this Two of Pentacles? And we have the Ten of Wands to put a burden down. So as we see, we have the Nine of Wands. Now you're moving forward to make a decision to put a burden down. It could be a financial burden or some other type of burden in the 3D world, whether that's a relationship, a, a job, a, a some other type of situation it'll be unique to each of you because this is a general reading please remember that what is this king of swords please what do we need to know thank you for the king of swords pisces we're getting the fool so you're going to be moving forward free you're going to be moving free f from this king of swords masculine libra gemini or aquarius or this is you making the decision to move forward free from this energy what is this fool for pisces hold on we have four cards for this fool the first card we have is the king of cups yeah okay so this king of swords is you know i feel it is a decision for you to move forward but i feel it's somebody external to you you're free someone or something external to you that you're freeing yourself from and turning your back towards because we have the masculine water energy king of cups here which is your energy coming up so you're you're it seems as though you're going to be in your masculine energy and deal with this situation that really has brought some heartache and pain and loss to you we have the queen of cups and the wheel of fortune so you're going to also you're going to be stepping into both your masculine energy in order to take this bold leap of faith but then you'll be returning to your feminine energy or utilizing both feminine and masculine energies in order to make the changes that are occurring for you. What is this Wheel of Fortune here for Pisces? And we have the Six of Wands, which is a very blessed card to come out for this reading for the six, for the Wheel of Fortune, showing that you're, you are moving forward very successfully. Um, we do have the energy of celebration, of happiness, of closing out a unhealthy situation and moving forward to something much better taking a bold leap of faith and allowing the wheel of fortune to work on your behalf to bring you into success adoration and recognition and reward so there is a victory here spirit one card for the overall energy of this reading for pisces please and we have trapped in fear. So some of you may have been stuck in a situation for a while. We do have the nine of swords, the eight of swords. So this is showing that you could have very much been in your head space, but now you're coming out of that and making a decision to move forward. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading. One oracle for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. 
and here we have success. So this is a very beautiful card to have for this reading, especially since we're seeing you're moving forward from a situation where it really had run its course and moving forward, even though you may have some type of opposition, you know that there is no greater goal than to love. So even though you may have been trapped in fear, even though you may have been feeling tired, worn out, feeling as though you don't have anything else to give, we see that through love, love is going to empower you and you know embrace yourself in self-love during this time to enable yourself to continue to move forward. Spirit, one herb oracle for Pisces, please. One herb oracle for Pisces. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing again, embrace yourself in self-love or surround, is that what I said? Embrace yourself in self-love. And here for the herb oracle, we have ginkgo and we have patience. So I feel Pisces, this isn't about you waiting. It's not about you waiting. It's about you being patient with yourself as you, you're going through many changes, many transitions, going through dark nights of the soul, going through challenges, going through, you know, relationships, jobs, careers, financial, and whatever type of obstacle you've been finding yourself up against, Spirit is really wanting you to have patience with yourself. Spirit, one fortune oracle for Pisces, please. One fortune oracle for Pisces for this reading. And for your fortune oracle today, Pisces, we are getting owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. And, you know, it's interesting that owl's right above the hermit. And we were just speaking about you're going through a transformation. Be patient with yourself. Give yourself time to slow down, time to, you know, wrap yourself in that self-love, time to nurture yourself and practice self-care because it's very important, especially with all the changes that you've been going through. And let's give one angel answers for Pisces, please, Spirit. And we have two angel answers coming out. The first one here is we get a big yes, so that's wonderful. And then the next one is there's something better. So spirit is moving you forward towards something much better for your life. Trust the process. Walk in faith. You are, it does seem as though you're going to have an opportunity to free yourself from something. And it seems as though it's been some very unhealthy situation or behavior or environment that you've been around, but you're putting down the burden, making a decision, walking away, and ultimately going for, t forward towards your 10 of cups, your emotional contentment and your fulfillment. As you do that, you're going to be releasing old energies and making room for new, and ultimately the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor to bring you to the six of wands, which is success, victory, and rewards. This is the message that I have for you today, Pisces, and thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energy with me and allowing me to access it so I can do this reading for you. I wish you the very best. God bless.